everyone so today's video is going to be my annual what I got for Christmas video I always love watching these videos during this time of year obviously and there are already so many that I need to catch up on and haven't watched yet so after I do this I'm going to catch up on those what I got for Christmas videos so I do this every year it was my first video years ago so obviously thought I would film it for you guys again and you guys hopefully would enjoy it here is my little puppy Macy She's trying to get out of this room as soon as possible, so she's just here for the intro. And now I'm going to head out so we can go ahead and start the video. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the video. So the first couple things I got are Chanel Coco Mademoiselle body lotion and perfumes. So they look like that. My mom works for Chanel Fragrance, so she loves getting us some sort of perfume for Christmas. So love this. I actually don't have any of my own, and this is one of my favorite scents from Chanel, and they smell so good. So I'm really excited to have both the perfume and the lotion. We'll probably wear it today because it is Christmas in my Christmas PJ still and just got ready. So yeah. So I got that, and I also got a Donna Karen Cashmere Mist deodorant stick. So I actually always get this every year. It's my absolute favorite deodorant ever. This is the only deodorant I will use. It's so funny, I always get this, but it definitely is one of my favorite things ever, something that I use. I don't like any other deodorants except for this one. And yeah, so I'm really happy that I got this. Another thing I got from my mom was a rose sugar scrub. So this is a Lancome sugar scrub. I'm not sure if it's for face or body. I'm assuming it's a face scrub or like an, a face exfoliator. So really happy about this because I actually don't have many exfoliators and I don't exfoliate my face um, as often as I probably should because I always go through my normal skincare routine and tend to forget the weekly exfoliating process. So definitely glad I got this to add to my skincare routine and for my brother i got this sephora travel bag i guess so it'll be great to i guess the, for like going to the beach and stuff and it had some makeup things inside like a primer mascara some eye masks and then some makeup sponges so i actually really really like this i feel like it seriously will be perfect for going to the beach or pool or anything like that so excited for that and then i also received this mask collection so it has a ton of different face masks it has lemon green tea red wine rice aloe avocado lotus coconut honey cactus lavender etc so it has a ton of different face masks which is really nice so i love actually using face masks on nights where i just want to have like a very self-care spa night so once in a while i'll go ahead and throw on a face mask so i have some at home I'm really excited to have some more to add to that with a ton of different ones so really excited for this so the next thing I got was from my sister so I told her that I wanted a set active sports bra so I don't know if you guys have seen set active probably you have all over Instagram so it's like an athletic wear brand and I really wanted a sports bra from them not necessarily a whole set but like I really love the different style sports bras they have so I liked this one and this color and I really really love the material it's really nice and thick and yeah I don't really have many sports bras so definitely wanted to get another one so yeah that's what it looks like and then here it is in the back home. and I feel like you could also wear this with like some leggings and like a sweater or something so really excited about this the next thing I got was this super soft and plush light pink blanket. So it's so cozy and soft and I actually don't have many blankets here when I'm at home. So I'm definitely going to use this here because I have blankets at school but at home I don't have any soft ones because my mom and my brother take all those. So when I'm here I end up freezing. So really glad I got a pink blanket to throw on this bed. So definitely need it especially since I'm here for a month and especially since it's really cold right now, so love that. Another thing I got for my brother was this Sunday Riley fanny pack with makeup inside, so, or actually they're like face stuff. So I got a bamboo stick mask and then a Sephora moisturizer. So other great skincare products to add. I have so much skincare right now, so I'm trying to like use all of it because I'm like getting overwhelmed with how many skincare products I have. But yeah, excited for that. 
And then one of my aunts got me a $50 Visa card. And then my other aunt got me this Starbucks, is it a tumbler? Or just a reusable cup that has like the Arizona A for my school. And then in the front it says Amanda with the red and blue colors. So I thought that was so, so cute. I'm so obsessed with this because at school I drink coffee every day and always use plastic and this is going to be so awesome to have so I don't have to be wasting plastic and actually using a reusable um, coffee cup. So excited to use this and it's just so cute and I love how it's also frosted and with the Arizona A so I really really love this. And also in the tumbler I got some fuzzy socks which I always am obsessed with getting fuzzy socks especially when it's cold so wearing these tonight for sure they're so soft. And then my younger brother got me the Lover Taylor Swift cassette, which it is my absolute favorite album. When we all fall asleep, where do we go in Lover? Favorite albums of the year. And I actually drive a 2004 Volkswagen Beetle and it only has cassettes. There's no aux, so I'm so glad I have a cassette now of this album. So when I'm driving, I could actually listen to this album. So I'm very excited to have this. So something I asked for that I really wanted were some new Ray-Bans because I have some all black ones. I don't know where they are. Some are here. But I've had those ones for a few years now and wanted to have a different style. So just to like change it up and not have to only wear the same black glasses. So I asked for these Ray-Bans or the gold with the green lens and probably one of my most things that I'm excited for. I think they're so, so cute. And yeah, I'm so obsessed with these. I wear glasses every single day. So I just really wanted to have a different pair just to change it up. And the other ones are getting really old. And actually, my brother sat on them this summer. So one of the, um, I don't know what it's called, on the side. <laughs> it is like kind of bent and loose now. So, so, so glad I got these. Another thing that I asked for and really, really wanted was a cow pack, a large suitcase. Because I plan on going abroad this summer and just... Getting luggage is something that you just don't really want to buy for yourself. So getting luggage is so nice because it's something you're always going to need. And it's really nice to travel with some good, cute luggage. So I asked for a large white cow pack. And it's right here in the sleeve and everything. And it's way too large to take it out. So if I find a picture, I'll insert of what it looks like. But it is a large one. So I wanted to get a large check-in suitcase. And I wanted it in white so it could match with my small marble carry-on suitcase so so glad I got this it's definitely something that I will use for like the rest of my life hopefully so so glad I got that and then for the last couple of things I did purchase myself because one of them I really wanted and it got and I got the pre-order of it so it ended up coming here right before Christmas which I was like okay might as well just wrap it and it be a Christmas present to myself and then the other one I've been wanting forever and then didn't want to just buy it and just cuz and really wanted to get during Christmas time so I can open it and it be something a little bit more special. So yeah. So one of those things was the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson conspiracy palette. So, so obsessed with both of them and was on the website when it first launched. My whole computer crashed and there is no chance I had at actually getting it. And then I think a few days after that is when Jeffrey posted that, that they had like 60,000 more pallets or something like that and were doing a pre-order thing. So I was able to get my hands on that and then it came like a month later. So I got this and I'm so excited. I opened it today for the first time and literally cannot wait to use it. So yeah, this is what it looks like and it's so nice. The packaging is actually so insane. Never had a palette that looked and felt more expensive than this and it just is so cool. Looks like that. It's just so cool to see it after watching the whole series and it being made and then actually having it like in your hands. It's, it's so cool. So and here is what it looks like on the inside. So yeah, it's so, so pretty, and I cannot wait to play with some of these colors. So I yeah, got that for myself. And then the last thing I got for myself, I've been wanting this forever. So once I was able to afford it, I wanted to definitely make a purchase on it because I always jumped about being able to buy my first designer bag. And by doing this and you guys all supporting me, I'm able to 
purchase things like this so thank you guys so much for that and yeah i got my first louis vuitton handbag so yep i'm so 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 excited and i got the speedy b bandolier 25 and it took me forever to choose which bag i actually wanted i went back and forth with so many and then stuck to something very very classic and something that wouldn't ever go out of style because it's in between one of the um the mini pochette or mini pochette one of the ones that's like new and trendy right now and i was like oh i don't want to get something that's trendy i want to stick with something more classic so anyway yeah that's what i did so i got the bdb 25 and that is what it looks like one of my favorite things about this bag actually is that it has no shape to it because i do have a couple of bags that are very structured and squared and you know yeah just very structured and i loved how this one wasn't so i can fit a ton of things it doesn't have anything on the bottom so i loved the look of that and i thought this size was absolutely perfect wasn't too big and it would be a perfect crossbody size as well and i love how it's so roomy inside because i really really need something to like throw my vlogging camera in when i'm like out and about and i haven't had a handbag that was able to do that because the opening was really hard to get it in there and there just never was enough room so yeah i think this bag is so perfect and i love just the simple monogram look to it so yeah that is what it looks like and i'm so excited to have this and yeah that is everything that i got for christmas my mom did say that there was one thing that i got that hasn't come in yet and i guess it comes in tomorrow and it's late and i asked her what it is she won't tell me so unfortunately i you guys won't know what that is but yeah um this is my christmas haul everything i got for christmas and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already and i'll see you on my next video bye guys